I'd like to demonstrate healthy mechanics when using our thumbs for deep pressure technique. Most therapists will place one thumb next to the other thumb, but I'd like to advise against doing that for this reason. When I press into the client's body, the client's body will press back into my thumb and will tend to hyperextend my thumb at the interphalangeal, the IP joint. And indeed, many therapists have a hyperextendable and unstable interphalangeal joint here and they especially need to protect that joint. So the way to do that is to take the other thumb and not be next to the contact left thumb, but be literally over the distal phalanx, the nail of the contact thumb. Now when I lean in with my body weight and I press into the client, when the client's body starts to push back on the left thumb's distal phalanx toward hyperextension, my other thumb prevents that motion and protects the joint. A second thing we can do is we can contract a muscle called the flexor pollicis longus which flexes the thumb at the IP joint so that we have a little bit of muscular force keeping our thumb toward flexion at this joint in other words preventing hyperextension. Now we want to be careful that we don't contract the flexor pollicis longus too much to be in this posture because then we're digging in and it's very pokey with our thumb tips. But we just want to slightly flex to protect the joint but still have a somewhat flat thumb pad contact. Brace over the distal phalanx, lean in and protect that interphalangeal joint.